Hi fellow fish eyes, it's Roger Osborne. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I fillet a whiting. And then following that, I'm making a new video on my famous beer batter. Best ever, never fail, no measure beer batter. So make sure you click subscribe or like and don't miss it because it's awesome and it's just so easy to make. It's what I use all the time when I cook fish. I like to keep things really simple. And when I eat fish, I like to eat my fish like a piece of steak with no bones. I just want to relax and enjoy my fish. I don't even scale or gut my fish. I just bring them home and whip the fillets straight off. And especially you need to leave the scales on if you're skinning the fish, which is what I do. Before you even fillet a fish, it's super helpful to know where the bone structure of the fish is. So I'm going to fillet this whiting and then once I've taken the fillets off, we're going to have a look and see where the bones are which will help you in your filleting. So let's get into it. So you can see this whiting, it's unscaled and I haven't gutted it. First of all, I'm placing a cut across the top of the fish here. I go as close to the, it, its head, at its shoulder as possible because I don't want to waste any of the fish. I'm not trying to push right through and cut through the fish, I'm just cutting through gently until I hit the backbone. I am now placing a cut right near the tail of the fish, just straight across the fish like that. Once again, just touching through to the backbone. Next, using the tip of the knife, really just the first centimetre or so of the knife, I'm running along the edge of the, of the bones here. all the way to the top to meet this first cut that I made. Next thing I'm going to do, keeping the knife at a slight angle, I'm following the bones and running the knife up to the top. Listen to the tip of my knife as it hits the bones. There is a central row of bones just here which come down to about this point. Now I'm turning my knife the other way and I'm running it through like so because there are no lateral bones at this point that come up they start at about this point in the fish you can see that I've separated the flesh from most of the fish at this point now I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to bring the knife into this first cut and I'm going to cut through that row of bones which exist just here Okay, so we have one fillet there. Now I'm going to turn the fish over and repeat the process. I'm going to put a cut through there, cut at the end. Then I'm going to carefully run my knife along the backbone here. Filleting whiting is a fairly delicate process because they're such a small fish and it would be easy to cut through the bones. I'm cutting through that row of bones just there. Let's see. You can see I've wasted a bit of meat on the shoulder. So it wasn't a perfect job actually, but uh, that's okay. I'm just taking this bit of flesh off so that we better see the bones better. So with this whiting here you can see this is the backbone of the whiting that runs down here. These are like its uh, rib cage, if you like where its uh, gut cavity is and there's another row of bones which come up here which is now in this fillet that I've taken off and after we've skinned it we'll be removing that row of bones. When you skin it, you sacrifice a little bit of flesh at the end of the fillet because you need something to hold on to. And you put your knife in like this. You hold the knife at a slight angle and run the knife along the flesh, like so. And you can see I've removed the skin from the fillet. And you can see the fillet like that. It looks beautiful. Okay, so that's how we skin it. I'll just do the other one as well. So I'm holding my knife at a slight angle, holding on to the end of the skin. Just seesawing that along, and you can see there's that there's that whiting skin. It's come off perfectly, and then you've got the fillet without the skin. So you can see my lovely um, skinned fillet of whiting. 
I'm just going to flip that over and we're going to remove the central row of bones. Now if you run your finger along here you can actually feel the bones and all you do to remove them is you, you run your finger along there first to feel them and then you just put a cut down there like that so there's no bones here and the row of bones is actually just there they're not trying to sacrifice the least amount of flesh I'm just cutting that little row of bones out actually I think you can probably see the way the bones go like that now this fillet here is a perfectly boneless fillet of whiting okay so now we're going to do the other side of the whiting so I'm just going to run my fingers along here to feel the bones you can also feel them with your knife as well when you cut it's always good to just check run your finger along there see if you can feel anything you can see we've taken the skin off the whiting we've got these two beautiful fillets while we're at it I've got a couple more fish to fillet so we'll just quickly do them Whiting, brim, salmon, ready to cook. So if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments section. I really would like to hear what you've got to say about this filleting video. I hope it's been helpful and make sure you hit subscribe because my next video is my best ever, never fail beer batter. No measure, I never measure anything and it turns out perfect every time. So look forward to seeing you in that video.